good guys? Your dude, I love me some sneaks here, coming at you with another sneaker review. Today, got for you the Kyrie 2, long awaited. I've been waiting for this since I've seen the pictures of it. Um, I grabbed Kyrie's first shoe when it came out, the Deceptor Rev colorway. Um, did a review on it, that's my first ever review I did on this channel. Um, it's a bad video, but if you want to check it out, I'll leave the link in the description box below. But getting into this shoe, let's go. Starting off with the name of the colorway, it's called Effect. It basically represents the Kyrie Effect, which is a mathematical formula designed to make you drain all your shots, which I think is a pretty cool concept. You know, if you watch Cleveland games and you watch Kyrie play, you see that he makes the craziest shots. Kyrie gets the bump. I think it's something pretty cool that they brought to his first colorway of the release of his second shoe. Onto the color of the actual shoe, it's black and white, hyperfuse, all the way on the top in this whole toe box area. You got your black, white, and gray laces, which I think complements the shoe very well. Black and white design on the strap of the shoe. We'll get into the strap in a second. And then this upper here, where your ankle goes, when I first saw this shoe, I was like, is this like an N7 kind of colorway or something like that? But it's not. It's just like a really cool tie-dye kind of feel going around the whole heel section of the shoe. And of course, you've got that number two logo right there, Kyrie's number. Removing the strap here, you can see on the inside, a little personal detail there. Uh, let it focus there. It says Elizabeth, and then I believe that's the date that she was born and then the date that she passed away. So I think that's a pretty cool representation for him to put his mother, like a signature and an O to his mother on his shoe. Of course, there's your laces. Unlace them for you guys. See that really nice red and black logo. I like this a lot better than the first shoe. I think the logo, and it even pops. Onto the traction of the shoe, you have like a multi-directional traction pattern that they have going on. I haven't hooped in these shoes, but I imagine that the traction on these are going to be insane, just for the fact that you got the herringbone down here, just straight traction here, circle traction here, just it's crazy, and I think it's gonna be ridiculously good. And again, before we get off the bottom of the shoe, another Kyrie logo right there. So a couple things to compare between the Kyrie 2 and the Kyrie 1. Um, of course, the Kyrie 1, very notable on the Kyrie 1. Ah, right here, you had that teeth pattern, going on on the whole front right there and then on the back you had that like Nike SB foam going on right there. On this one they kind of took away from that. Uh, they made it more of like a wave and you have more of a thick midsole right here down by your heel and you got that Nike Air unit right there only in the heel not in the forefoot. Throwing comparisons between the two shoes they're both really nice shoes. Um, of course they look Kind of the same, kind of different. You can obviously see that this one cuts off a little lower than the Kyrie 2. And the traction pattern on both are obviously different. This one showed you guys, it's like a multi-directional pattern. While this one, sorry about the dirt there guys, but this one is pure herringbone on the whole bottom. Now the traction on the Kyrie 1 was ridiculous. Loved it. And like I said, that's why I believe that the traction on the Kyrie 2 is gonna be just as good. I think that's pretty much it for my review on the Kyrie 2, guys. If you liked my review or if you have any more questions about the shoot that I didn't get into, please go ahead and leave your questions and your comments in the comment section below. And be sure to hit that like button to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned to more videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys for the next review. Peace!